All rise for the Honorable Tim G. Jacob as he presides here on the realest, most entertaining sports show in the game. Put it on some. I'm going to give you all another reason why we're the realest, most entertaining sports show in the game. Okay. I'm going to talk about a team that nobody ever talks about in the league because they're just not sexy to talk about right okay now you appreciated them years back when they had the likes of uh one anthony hardaway and one shaquille o'neal and that was probably the last time you ever really just loathed over them just just was in, enchanted with their play and with the team as a whole i'm sick of the Orlando magic so tonight, my all rise is to simply call out the Orlando Magic organization. Now, now some old heads might, uh, you know, throw Dwight Howard's reign in there. Uh, at, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they did go to the finals, Steve. They did, yeah, yeah, they did. You no, know, I'm talking about the real good glory days. The real good glory days. We all knew them boys were going to lose to the Lakers. That was no question. Okay, let's keep it moving. All right, I'm sick of y'all, Orlando. I really am. I'm tired of you. You've gotten every high draft pick since I started in like college. Okay. Um. Right now, you guys are four and a half games back in being in the play in in the Eastern Conference. Your team is loaded. This is the part that gets me. They're loaded. Okay. Markel Fultz, Jalen Suggs, Cole Anthony, Paolo Bancaro, who they just got this year, mm -hmm. Franz Wagner, Moritz Wagner, Bo Bo, Wendell Carter Jr., Mo Bama, Jonathan Isaac. You got length. You got scores. You got uh defenders you got uh multifaceted guys like a false great facilitator great de good defender uh you name it and you guys continue to fumble the bag what's up i say this because i'm looking at the okc thunder the oklahoma city thunder right now with okay one shea gilgis alexander one Josh Giddy ain't been like that this year. And these boys dancing off in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. But you know the difference? It's because OKC, their team, all those guys know their role. And they do their job well. Mm -hmm. You got all this talent in Orlando, and you just won't do – somebody just won't say, you know what, I ain't got to have 15 FGAs. Just give me nine – and let me play good defense and rebound. Mm -hmm. Bancaro, do you know they got seven? Let me let me start with this. Do you know they got seven double digit scores? Double digit guys. Well, mm -hmm. you 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 named a lot of guys that we seven, that are of note. So it seemed like they should have seven that. double digit guys right now, currently in the first half of the season in this NBA. In this NBA season, mm -hmm. seven. But yet, they're outside of the playoffs. Now, some would say, okay, is it coaching? I ain't even finna do that. Because with this type of talent here, it, it should be like, it should be easy. I mean, a little bit of implementation here and there, a little influence. And they should be at least playing. They should be nine in the East right now. Ten. At worst. Seriously? And then here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. I got to looking through this stuff, right? You know they done swept the Celtics for the season? Three times they've beaten the Boston Celtics. Three. They beat them back-to-back -back nights earlier in the year. So what are we doing? You look at OKC. Go ahead, go ahead. Do you think they might be trying to tank for Wimby? No, 
how? What you what, for what? They acting like Wimby is the best prospect since Brun Brun. Okay, to do what? What they gonna be the first team with all seven footers out there on the floor? I mean, if he's gonna run since Brun Brun, I guess to change the culture, make a lot of money, and possibly become a contender. Yeah. See, that's what Brun did. Look, I'm not saying that. I'm 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 just. I'm just uh, saying what folks are saying about this dude. Well, well, I mean, right now in the East, they're not even at the bottom of the conference. I mean, so they're, if, they're still behind, like, they're in front of Detroit. So if they are tanking, they're doing a bad job of that, too. Well, they're doing a bad job of that, too. They're, yeah, they're in front of Charlotte and Detroit in the East right now, right? Oh, Mike, oh, Mike, oh, Mike. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, he got a lot of stuff to deal with. That's neither here nor there. But, hey, you know. that what? Out. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Then why? Why you throw that? In? I just, I'm just saying, it's, it's more to deal with than the Hornets right now. <laughs> but look, I'm just tired of Orlando. Look, look, all you guys out there playing for the Orlando Magic. If you, I'm gonna hashtag you, or I'm gonna at you, or do something. I need y'all to get into the play-in tournament. Okay. I want to be excited about you guys. That's my whole point for this segment right here. I like the team they got because they got enough of everything. Put it together. Okay. Put it together. Big Perk ain't going to tell you that. Richard Jefferson ain't going to tell you that. They ain't because they too busy trying to slob on the others out there. The, the bigger names and the bigger tickets, you know, to keep their name hot. This is the realest, most entertaining sports show. Do something. I want to see you guys make it into the playoffs and then give me Boston and Orlando. I just told y'all they beat you three times. I get it. Playoffs are different. I know what you're going to say, America. Playoffs are different. Mm -hmm. But these boys got enough. They got enough. And then I mentioned Jonathan Isaac just came back. Now, he can't stay healthy. So that's a wild card right there. But of what they have in that locker room, they got enough that they should not be in the, in the cellar of the Eastern Conference. It just shouldn't be. Now, you would say, okay, they're young. Yes, they are young. I don't think anybody on that team outside – I think Terrence Ross and Gary Harris are like the oldest guys on that team. Mm -hmm. The rest of these dudes are like 25 and younger. So I get it. Experience matters. I got it. But this kind of youthful exuberance, these boys should be in the mix. They should be in the mix. So I'm sick of y'all. Y'all don't deserve narrow lottery pick for the next three years. Like if Orlando just don't make it in, just pass their lottery pick to somebody else. Just give it up. They shouldn't even get it. New rule, huh? NBA should just, yeah, to implement new rule. Like, look, y'all done had enough. Y'all figure it out. We'll start giving you them back in 27. Right. It's it's just crazy to me. Seven guys on the seven guys average double digits for the Orlando Magic. And if you look at the Oklahoma City Thunder, I think it's four guys that are in double digits. And the rest of these dudes are like fringe 10 mm -hmm. points a game. But you're telling me the OKC Thunder are right. Outside of the play-in, they actually were in the play-in. They were in the in the talks, in playoff talks throughout the season. And that just comes and goes. And they're in the West. They're in the West. Mm -hmm. So come on, man. What we doing? Sick of y'all. I'm sick of y'all. Don't blame the coach. It ain't his fault. Too much talent on the floor to not be getting it done. So I'm calling out. Oh, y'all in Orlando. No, I don't want no tickets. Don't at me. Don't talk to me. Get something done. Because it's ridiculous. That's all I got. Oh, God. Take and I know Paolo like to have smoke with people. You know, he, him and DeJounte got their little smoke. Well, go see about DeJounte. He in front of you right now in your conference. Go see about it. Mm -hmm. Give me that play-in game. What would you say to the argument that uh, with them being so young, 
Yeah, they're getting some buckets. Okay, you got seven guys in double figures. But you got to give them time to jail defensively. Would you say that that's the end of the floor that, that's, that's causing them the problems? Or would you say that they just ain't – they just ain't getting it done flat out. Yeah, yeah. Defensively, they suck. If you go look at their statistics, mm-hmm. like OKC's a better defensive team from what I've seen than them. Mm-hmm. And OKC doesn't possess near about the length. But with all that size, they should be better. They should be better. They yeah. should absolutely be better. But well, see, so, we in a culture though, T. Every time I see some, they show me Paolo. And then we you know, we just in highlight culture, which look we come from the era, well come from the era. We thirty eight years old. Uh, when we were growing up, mm-hmm. it was Sports Center era, highlight show, right? But that shit's on steroids now. Oh, it's crazy because now you get I right get away. highlights on my phone. Don't mention the outcome at the of the game. At least on Sports Center. They're going to show you all the stuff, but that you're going to still get who won the game. Mm-hmm. I get bowl, 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 Euro stepping on folks and dunking. Yep. And I have no idea whether the Magic won the game or not. You I get know. Paolo dunking on somebody. I don't have no idea whether they won the game or not. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, so these cats getting their money. They getting their money. They still getting their fame. They still getting all the likes and retweets and shares and all that kind of shit on social media from the highlights. Maybe that plays into some of the complacency with some of these teams. Hell, my Lakers. If I'm going to be 100, my Lakers. Okay, where's the urgency with my Lakers? As long as Brun Brun put up 30, his fans going to be cold, cool because he, he heading towards Kareem. And because his age, people just still going to be wild by that. I see something uh, different with y'all right now, though. Russ, you know, now that he coming off the bench, as long as he have a decent game, folks have calmed down on that. Whether we win or lose, folks just chilling with it. Right. You know. Right. A- now, AD, now, AD, I don't know what to say about AD. I, don't, I, don't I mean, you're only two and a half back of being, like, in the playoffs. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not like you out just completely. Y'all are like, I mean, y'all are dangerous. You're dangerous. Don't, don't, don't. you're dangerous. Don't get my hopes up to you. I'm not getting your hopes up. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you still got two of the, of the top five players in the world, as they tell me. One win healthy, the other is 38 in an advanced age of 38. Yeah, you know, let me make let me say that like that. So, it's there. I mean, the, your opportunity to really make noise in the playoffs is there, I think. Because ain't nobody playing defense in this league no more. So do you do you give us a better chance to make the playoffs than the Magic? Absolutely. Because you got leadership on the floor. And in the West, with the way the West is right now, those two guys will be important after All-Star break. Mm. In the East, though, they're still young gun teams. I mean, like Washington, they they young. Um, Phoenix, I'm sorry, not Phoenix, sorry. Atlanta's young, in a sense. Uh, Indiana's young. Boy, it won't. I mean, there's a lot of Atlanta, young teams. Atlanta, boy, Atlanta been. They've been disappointing, in a sense. Yeah, but they, they took a step back. But they, but they can, they they're figuring things out now. I th- I do think they're figuring things out. Mm-hmm. But. I'm just saying though, Orlando, if you're telling me you you beat the Celtics three times this year, that you swept the Celtics pre All Star break, that, that's impressive. And then you've you've beaten the Warriors, you've beaten you know you've beaten some other playoff teams, but then there's other nights. Uh, I mean, if you look at their scores, some nights they get blowed out, some nights they can't win the the close ones. Like I think they're four and four in games decided by like. Three points or less, or five points or less, something like that. So they just got to figure some things out. Who would you I, say is that? Who would you say is their closer? Their closer? Did they, when they in these close games, like you just mentioned, who's gonna close the door for that young team? It would have to be Bancaro. So that's what I'm saying. 
So it with him first year in the league, he got to figure that out. You know what I'm talking about? So maybe maybe they still going through some growing pains, and, and you know, well, maybe maybe them. maybe what you <laughs> want, <laughs> maybe what you want, maybe you'll get that next year. Maybe they take a leap. I don't need it next year. I need it. Okay, now. okay. This time, let's go. All star break next year. Let's say you want at least six seed from them. From Orlando? From Orlando. And and if they don't have that, we revisit this and you go slap off. I can't wait. I'm impatient. You want them right. You you they need to be they need to be in the they need to be in the at least in the play in right now. At least seven or eight. Well, all they gotta do is win one game in the, win the seven and I think it's seven eight matchup. I think if mm-hmm. seven and eight play each other, winner that matchup and the play in goes on, they get in. Mm-hmm. They need to be seven eight. Okay. They have no reason not to be. Well, America, y'all have heard my brother's ruling on today. Sick of it. Y'all chime in. Let us know if y'all agree uh, with my brother Tim G. Jacobs' uh, assessment. All right, that the Orlando Magic should bare minimum Amen. be a seven or eight seed come the end of this season. All Amen. right, put it on some. Thank you so much for watching my daddy's YouTube channel. Make sure you like, share, and turn on your post notifications. Okay, how do I do?